so i was explaining the example suppose your source is having 100 records and your target got loaded with only 80 records so 20 records got rejected so you want to know that how that 20 records got rejected and those are valid or not suppose they have in visual business logic they have a condition where they want to restrict only the records which are only from the india now your source system or your source file have 100 records apart from that means from those 100 records 20 records are not from india those are from other country Th those may be like 10 records from us 10 records from uk and 80 records are from india so when you run your etl job you make sure that your target have 80 records as per the business logic and 20 records rejected and those are valid records rejects because th those records didn't fulfill the conditions from the business requirements so that is valid but sometimes suppose re re valid records are getting rejected so you need to investigate that through the TTL tool why those records are getting validated then you might have to raise a bug and you need to have a conversation with them and decide how that they want to fix those bugs that is one other things and then you need to some other scenarios might be like you need to check that whether the column structures are as per the business logic or not because like suppose in the business department they want date column and they are provided like business somehow the dev while describing or like creating the table they say that okay this is not the date column or like where care column so at that time you need to check those as well um and there might be scenarios where you need to check for the truncation suppose your source is having or suppose your target in the business requirement they are describing it as a 50 character or 100 characters you should try to provide that 120 character in the source file and try to see that whether it's accepting only 100 character or not those are the other scenarios also that you need to consider then we can think about the negative test scenarios where like if you don't provide the file what should happen you should run the job check that whether we should get proper error for the jobs then try to provide that incorrect file name try to provide that incorrect data for each other columns suppose you have 10 columns okay each column suppose first is where care then try to provide the where care suppose only the character field is there try to provide the numeric field into those try to see that whether those records are getting rejected or not then try to see that all the jobs are running fine on the schedule and or not or normal run these are the different types of scenarios that you can cover while performing that normal your ETL test so if you like from start to end if I can write it down what you can say that firstly you need to let me just create one more slide and from here I'll try to explain you so here what you can say check source and target count okay then check the ETL jobs then you will check reject counts is valid valid ones and invalid too Then you might to have check the target table variables. Target table variables means like all the constraint other things, table constraint, table structure. You can say that table structure is as per business requirement or not. Then you can say that or uh, then do your firstly positive test scenarios then you need to do the incremental load there might be a historical load 
for incremental some people will say that delta load delta load is nothing but like firstly whenever you run the initial load okay and from next day onwards like every day data will come right so those data will called by as incremental load so for incremental load again you need to check that whether only that incremental data is populated in targetable or not sometimes what will happen a new column will be added in your target system so currently all the data is loaded for that target table but new column is added so you need to run the historical load for that column for the all other data so that comes under historical load then you need to perform the negative test scenario so in negative test scenario i already explained like check with the invalid data invalid data then invalid format invalid file format file name or slash format for each and other columns you need to check that whether jobs is giving you proper rejection or not job should fail and, and you should get proper message regarding the failure so these are the some kind of scenarios that you might have to look around while performing the ETL test. I will again try to explain all other things like I will try to cover the next videos like for the SQL, what are the things you, should, you need to consider while performing this ETL test. I think that's sufficient. Let me know like if you want to know much details about this. Meanwhile, thank you so much.